Tone M here. All right, so I haven't made videos in a while, and I'm sorry about that. It's been kind of hectic in my household. Uh, home projects, kids going to school. And uh, anyway, so um, what I have on the table is no stranger to my camera or to my uh, channel. Uh, Y'all have seen me shoot it. Y'all have seen me clean it. Um, it's the double barrel, 11-inch Linad. Derringer made by Cobra. Now, and yes, it's not loaded uh, for all you gun snobs out there. Now, you're probably thinking, Tone M, why are you bringing this thing back? Okay, well, funny thing is, is uh, one of my fans, uh, or subscribers, I should say, asked me if I was doing videos again. And I was like, yeah, I, I'm getting back into it. I got things I'm trying to come back to. Well, I've been wanting to shoot this for a while. I mean, I've shot it, obviously, you've seen videos. And um, the thing about it is it's, a, it's an amazing gun. I mean, it's not the most accurate. It's fun. It's totally unique and cool. But it is uncomfortable. And the reason it's so uncomfortable is because this handle is so damn small. And when you're shooting 45 long colt out of it, or uh, high load um, 410 shells, the kick, it, it just, it kills your knuckle. And basically, the knuckle that really gets pounded is your middle finger. And when you, if anyone's ever fired this gun, or any kind of Derringer of that, of any type, you know all Derringers have small handles. Okay, so you hold it, and as you can see, you can't exactly really get a good grip on it. And um, so you pretty much hold it like that. All right, and so when you fire it, I'm gonna keep my finger up for now so you can cool. see that. When you fire it, your knuckle is literally right here behind the trigger guard. Well, lack there of a trigger guard. So all that kinetic force that happens when you fire just pummels your knuckle. And it's just, I mean, after a couple rounds, you just don't want to shoot it no more. So basically what it happened was is I was thinking, I was like, I was on Google and I was messing around and I seen a couple people that had the smaller version, the single barrel version, and they made their own custom handles for it uh, via an old Rough Rider uh, from the Heritage Arms system, the Cowboy Guns, their handles, which uh, pretty much fit very well on this, um, and or uh, other customizable, like different colorations of these handles, the, of the original handles, things like that. Now, what I found interesting enough is that there is actually a company that's out there and it's on eBay that I found it through um, that make a bigger mm -hmm. handle for it and so I ordered it it was about $25 tax and all free shipping and this is what came now if you look at it correctly I mean right off the bat you can definitely tell it's got a heavy heavy influence of the Rough Rider Heritage Arms uh, Cowboy Single Action uh, Revolvers. That style, everything, it almost looks like an old uh, uh, cowboy, uh, I think they call them boot um, handle. Uh, so anyway, I bought it, and just to show you what the difference is, is this is lined up to how it's supposed to sit on there and right there you can definitely tell it is two times the side a lot beefier uh, so that way you get a good wrapped hand around it but you're not busting your knuckle on the trigger guard so that's what it looks like side by side from the back you can see the handle comes down on the bottom and then there's the size difference right there for you now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this gun uh, and show you what it looks like all complete now uh, to do that though I need to get my lovely assistant uh, 
Emmeline to uh, put my gun together for me, all right? How you doing, sweetie? Say hi to the camera. This is my oldest. Now, what I need you to do, baby, is I need to put this handle on this gun. Can you do it for me? Yes. All right. Again, for all you gun stops, it's not loaded. She is trained professional. That's squatting right now. It should be standing. Okay. Uh, and she's going to do this for me. All right. So I'm going to let you go ahead, take this, and you can start doing your, uh, do that for me. And when you're done, bring it back to me. Okay. Now, while she's doing that, everybody, uh, we're going to go ahead and start doing the, uh, oh, oh my. And, uh, so, um, comes with two Allen wrenches and, uh, she's still going at it. Oh, wait, I think she's done. Okay. So again, you order them. It comes with two Allen wrenches and, oh, wow. Look at that. Um, why did you have a hammer? <laughs> You're a pro, huh? Okay. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. That is the new handle on it. As you can see already, it's a lot more robust. It's a lot bigger. And, oh, my God, it just feels so much nicer. Again, still not loaded. There's nothing in it. Um, but... Um, it already feels so much nicer. Uh, your knuckle's still on the back of the trigger guard, but from what I already can feel when you hold it is that this sticks out more and this is wider. So your palm actually pushes your fingers away from the trigger guard. So it, it gives you a lot, a lot better grip and it feels like the handle is going to take a lot more of the recoil. So basically what I mean is when you fire it, because it's a lot beefier, it's going to push into your palm, but it's going to stop the trigger guard from busting your knuckle. At least in my head, that's the theory because it definitely feels like that. Won't know until I shoot it. When that day comes, I'll definitely post a video again. Um, but for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, so there you go. There's the handle. This is the original handle, side to side, or back to back, or front to back, however you want to look at it. You can tell, I mean, it's just, why? Why did they come up with a handle like this in the first place? It's just ridiculous. It's beyond anybody's concept. But they do make a replacement handle now for a larger, it's called, actually, and I got the paper right here, uh, Lanad Cobra Derringer Larger Replacement Grip. And... It's a mouthful, and it's definitely a hell of a lot to type, but it is being made. It is out there. Um, that is the information right there. That's basically what you got to kind of type in, or you could just pipe replacement grip for a Lanad, and it'll pop up again. And uh, there's the website there. It's... Um, that's the price total. It's twenty-four dollars and uh, sixty-five cents, or uh, ninety-five cents. I got it backwards. I'm reading through the paper, guys. I'm sorry. Um, basically, I'm gonna go ahead and put the website out. I'm gonna say it so that way you guys can pause, listen, or whatnot. Uh, basically, http colon slash slash stores dot ebay dot com slash central dash firearms and uh, the guy who owns that company that uh, shipped this to me is Chad J. Walters. I'm going to go ahead and thank my lovely assistant daughter here for putting the handle on for me. And um, again, when you buy this handle, it ships with, and my behind the scenes uh, <laughs> youngest daughter, Luna, it does come with these two Allen wrenches. It's actually really, really simple to take this apart. You see the hex head here and the hex head there. Um, so basically, that's why you get two of them. They, they screw onto each other. Now, you will need a flathead to take the original handle off because it is actually just a uh, flathead screw that goes all the way through and stops in a bushing here. Um, I mean, simple, cheap design, but horrible, horrible handle. All right, guys. So <laughs> there you go. The larger grip uh, modification that you can buy on eBay at the website I said. Uh, ebay.com slash 
Central Dash Firearms. All right. There you go, guys. Tone him out. Girls, go ahead and say your goodbyes. Goodbye. Next time, we're going to have a shooting video. Stay classy to YouTube.